Halo 3 is all about the things that we wanted in Halo 1 and 2. The brutes were... They were added in a little too late, I think. And we didn't have a chance to really flesh them out. And so that's what we're doing for Halo 3. Nailing the flavor for a character is often very difficult. You sort of have to feel it out as you go. The brutes in Halo 2 were meant to be more like the barbarians in Rome. And we wanted the brutes to typify that abusive, evil invader. But right from the start, the design of the brutes was not consistent about reinforcing that they are meant to be worthy adversaries for the player. Now that the elites have left the Covenant, it gave us a problem for Halo 3. For the brutes to behave kind of similar to the elites, they have to be totally redone because they're not interesting to fight. He was just a damaged sponge. There were no interesting reactions. There wasn't an interesting death. The only tactic the player has is just pump and pull of lead until they fall down. This doesn't really turn out to be really good gameplay. Going back and trying to recreate a character like this is one part art and one part science. And the art part is very difficult to understand just exactly how long it's going to take. Concept artist tries to communicate through composition what the idea is trying to get across. A lot of times the direction just gets narrowed down to, can you just make it look cool? The Brutes originally looked a lot like Chewbacca. <laughs> Like they were just big hairy guys with a bandolier. I looked at a lot of animal reference, rhinoceros and uh, some gorilla. Their natural body plating is brutish. This was our way of like kind of pulling them into the fold of the covenant. They've got kind of ancient looking buckles and gauntlets and leather straps holding all that stuff together. Making them a little more serious bad guy, I hope. <laughs> Everything the character does, whenever the character moves, we've created an animation for it. In which way that character moves that kind of makes him unique? These days now we've got our animation reference area upstairs. We just take it upon ourselves to go film us doing each individual motion and then work that into our animation. If a brood is punching the face off a marine, we're going to embellish that. We're going to make him punch the jaw off too. We're going to make him just punch straight through that marine. God damn, that looked like in real life. I was just like, Jesus. that was awesome. When I look over and, and see Jeremy doing something, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. How can I work something like that into his move set? It's exciting to see what Jeremy does tomorrow and what Bill does the next day. It, it, it's always a new... Me too. But not John. <laughs> no. Not, not so much me. No. Nobody <laughs> likes John. <laughs> Players who are familiar with the Brutes from Halo 2 will notice that these Brutes are fully armed, fully equipped, and are not going to be pushovers. For the game to be interesting, like the, the guys that you're playing against have to be fun to play. That's the profile of the character, create an interesting look from afar. Is it fun to shoot at him when he runs around? Do you see his limbs moving up and down because there's things jutting up from the sides? Rather than make them look like big dumb apes, we want to make them very brutal, pragmatic warriors. And that's really informed a lot of the visual design. Visually through the art, we, we define the different classes. The standard brute has just as normal armor with a very standard helmet. The brute captain has a much bigger headdress. And then the brute chieftains have very elaborate headdresses and very elaborate shoulder pads and armor on them. 
the interesting thing with some of the ideas that we came up with is uh, not only do we need to figure out how the brutes interact with the other covenant, but also how brutes interact with brutes. And we developed the idea of the brute pack. What makes it feel like two characters are aware of each other, deciding to do the same thing at the same time? Maybe you're kind of come around a corner and see them doing some sort of an activity that that has nothing to do with fighting, but it's going to give you sort of more insight into what the brute pack mentality is like. We have this really brutal behavior now, which is just the chieftain saying, everybody throw a grenade, and as a result, a second later, you have grenades flying at your face. That's always going to give the player a little bit of an adrenaline rush that, oh my god, now this guy is right up in my face. I could back up and hit him hard. When the players kill them, they're like, oh man, I had to kill that guy. And then they go around a corner and there's like four more of them standing there, right? And they're like, I think the, the brutes bring out sort of the indignant, self-righteous aspect of a lot of players. So I'm hoping to hear a lot of, take that and I can't believe that you have invaded my planet and I'm gonna throw you off and we hope to really bring people into the character and the drama of the situation by putting them up against these really brutal characters. Ah! Ah!